there were a couple of times that I wanted to do different type of videos and now we're gonna be reacting to 10 scary videos to creep you out so bundle up grab your freaking popcorn grab your freaking snacks listen I encourage you to watch this at night with your headphones freaking blasted so you can get the full experience and with that being said let's get into it we're gonna be reacting to this chilling together you the already know says that he was busy working in his office one day when his son came running in and seemed very upset the boy claimed that quote a man was moving things in the other room. The dad follows the boy into the living room to find things scattered all across the floor. Okay. So he checks his security cam to see just what happened. What he finds chills him to his core. Am I gonna get this? Yeah. Okay, I feel like that was just fake, bro. I ain't gonna lie. That guy. <laughs> How do you? I ain't gonna lie, though. I feel like if this supernatural bullcrap was real, I feel like it would get more hat. Alright, that kid reaction seemed a little bit real. I ain't gonna lie. He seemed like he actually was. <laughs> I would say the wind, but the wind is not pushing that like that. Unless somebody has like a string attached to it, but where would you even attach it to? It's kind of blurry, so you can't really see everything, but like. <laughs> somebody beat him up, too. Hey, don't mama. Uh, don't mama do rag. A small toy and not like can be seen sliding line. across the living room floor all by themselves. The seemingly annoyed little boy rushes over to the objects and even starts picking up the dog bed and throwing it back to the floor in frustration. The dog <laughs> bed then aggressively slides back towards him, knocking him over. Somebody trying to beat him up, luckily, man. <laughs> the little boy lands right on the soft bed. So just what was the boy seeing when he told his dad that, quote, a man was moving things? Could some dark mm, presence be I forgot about that. I forgot he said you that. Decide. Oh, say it, man. in the matrix tiktok user eddie is parked in front of a boston pizza restaurant in fresno california when right. he spots something very weird okay where is this car that's reflecting on this boston pizza window that orange car it's a corvette c8 i seriously don't see that car anywhere I have no idea. Where's that car? Maybe it's inside. No, it's not inside. What? Where? Where is that car? Hello? Where's that car? Where is this car? In the reflection of the uh. restaurant's window, Eddie sees an orange Corvette C8. But when he looks, I mean, I would say that's lot, edited or something, it's but not there. how would you edit that like that? In disbelief, Eddie posts his video to TikTok, wondering if he might have caught a quote glitch in the matrix the bizarre footage mm. goes viral receiving over 2.8 million views in the comments oh, viewers repeatedly ask eddie to go back and film the location one more time okay we are back at the same parking lot because one of the many comments you guys were saying is go walk up to it uh the car is either inside of the pizza parlor yeah i was thinking that but i know how to say window. it I don't know. Let's check it out. Yeah, stuff like that just so don't happen. I'm walking to it right bro. now. If you look at it actually from this point of view, the reflections look kind of accurate. Yeah. Okay. But <laughs> there's a pizza place. There's a white car reflecting. That's right here. Okay. And no, there's like no car in there. This time the shop window accurately oh, reflects what's right in so front there's of it. no car right the there The orange anymore. Corvette is no longer there. Is that the same spot though? I think it is. This time the shop window yeah, accurately Mmm. Cut to another video of a supposed know, quote, thing, man. glitch in the matrix. It could have been an edit, but Late one night in Nashville, you have to be a, a freaking good editor. You would have to grab her camera and hurry outside to check out some very bizarre activity going on in the night sky. 
Man, if the moon was sharing the color, I would have been able to see you. Dang, boy! You trying to blind us? Bro, what type of camera do you have to see the moon that up close like that? You could. What? What? What was that? You guys. The girl in the background. What the? What's that? What the? What's that? She is tweaking out. The moon seems to change colors from green to red, and then suddenly seems to just discharge some kind of electricity. What type of camera is that, though? He can literally see like all the little, believe that they the little everything shadow parts of the moon, bro. What the heck? Cover up, aliens, and of course, maybe even a glitch in the matrix. But whether it's a glitch, aliens are maybe just a really nah, good fake. Nah, bro. I leave that, that ain't to real, bro. To decide. I would have seen that. I feel like oh, if that no. happened, everybody would have saw it. It would have been viral, viral, Candace bro. Candace Gardner and her husband attended a Halloween party at an abandoned <clears throat> and allegedly haunted prison with a dark history. It was a huge mistake. Candace says that the entire night at the party, she felt like something was watching. I was her. thinking about reacting and ever to since um, that night, like strange people kind of going through like those Candace's abandoned home. buildings and stuff too. She Let me know if y'all trying to see that. And tag me or whatever. Do whatever you got to do. Let me know if you're trying to see me react to this horror video. To harm I'm trying to, and her trying to family. You know, chill out and Soon watch the videos of the child. Candace begins to experience unexplained activity in her home. Lights flicker on and off at night while Candace and her husband sleep. And look at that cat just Doors in the house open and close on their own. But scariest of all, the spirit begins to aggressively throw objects at Candace. Somebody mad at her, ain't it? I mean, was something hanging from up there? And I these can barely see what I even. Oh, they threw it escalate, from the ground. As it seems that from the, the living room area. Seriously. Hurt Candace. Man, heck nah, dog. Bro, if you got knives swinging in junk, you need to move, bro. If it's real, you need to move. <laughs> While Candace is sleeping, she starts to wake up to painful. I'm not sleeping in the house. How are you even sleeping in there? Force is roughly grabbing or pulling at her, and she says she caught proof. So late one night, Candace and her husband fall asleep while watching TV on the couch. Man. As the couple sleeps, a CCTV camera in the room captures something absolutely horrifying. Mm. I thought she might have lift up her leg to pass cats. <laughs> Man. Either she's really flexible or something was really grabbing her because no normal body, no normal human body is twisting like that, bro. No normal human body was going to twist like that, especially when she was still like holding on to like, you know, how her arm is like, it's just her. It's just her lower half moving. You could tell like if she was purposely moving her leg up like that, that her, you know, all the areas of her body would be moving too before that. But nah, that ain't that ain't, that ain't no natural movement, bro. Yeah, I would have moved. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, bro. I don't even know you still live there. After I got knives thrown at me and pots and pans tossed at me, bro, I'm quit. I'm I'm leaving, bro. Candace's leg appears to get grabbed. Now they trying to put. Now they trying to put into the air. Now they trying to force. paralyze you and John? Nah, dog. She wakes up in a panic and. And I was looking at her other foot. What was going on with her other foot? Force. She wakes up in a panic. Oh, that's his. Oh, he grabbed her. Okay. To help her. 
but all he can do is grab her leg and pull it back. Eventually, he manages to free Candace's legs from whatever is pulling on it. But is she still Candace getting pulled on? Sobbing in pain and fear. Now, I have to say that after watching this footage and hearing Candace's desperate pleas for help, this video is very compelling. Yeah, it, is, it does do seem real. That I don't know though. Followed Candace home from the prison and is now violently haunting her home. Let me know what y'all think, bro. What y'all think? As for Candace, let me know in the comments. She says that her family still experiences terrifying paranormal events. Y'all still live there? To this day. Y'all are y'all moving out, bro? What so y'all doing? Seen one or you have one? Send it our way at nukestop5 at gmail.com. Hell or high water. Back in August 2021, an I unexpected hope you flash it. flood you swept through downtown Omaha, Nebraska. At around 10 p.m., Tony Liu and his two friends are relaxing in his apartment and watching the weather reports about the flood. They decide to take the elevator down to have a look at the flooded city streets for themselves. It was a very bad idea. Let me see your best moose impression. Oh. Me in the water. Okay, can you it was a no bad idea. Let me see your best moose impression. Oh. I would freak okay, out. Okay, thank you. Oh. Duh, I would freak. Tony I can't swim either. Didn't realize, but the lower levels I can't. of the apartment I would freak building out, were completely flooded with disgusting sewer water. As the oh, elevator man. reaches the lobby, water pours inside. Causing the elevator to malfunction. And this dude is like, he was smiling. Inside, like, bro. Water. Once they got towards bro, some people neck, don't be having no fear. Kind of, okay, like, I could possibly die in here. The water continues to flood in, filling the elevator okay. to the point that the three friends can barely keep their head above water. Tony is panicked and makes an emergency phone call to his roommate, Dalen Stapp. And the mm. roommate hurries downstairs to try to help his trapped friends. Oh, wow. I told him, hey. Uh, I'm I'm gonna die in here if you guys don't come and try to do something. We went down into what the they do, deep bro. water and just tried pulling it apart with everything we could. We had to get him out or could have been fatal. Tony's roommate Dalen hey, finally shout out to, those to pry dudes, open the flooded God, elevator please. doors to free his friends from what could have been their watery grave. Luckily, they yeah, all they would have been gone. Swim to safety Especially if they kept so rising, as a bro. scratch. Not surprisingly, Tony Liu says that this was the scariest thing that has ever oh, yeah. happened to him. Yeah. How scary was this? Honestly, I would say this is number one, the most scariest thing yeah. in my life. Yep. That's my, my, one of my biggest fears, bro. Drowning, bro? That's like my biggest... Ah, bro. Like, that's... No, bro. Drowning is like that thing. It's like, no, The Rainbow bro. Fountain and Grill in Carrollton, Texas was built back in 1924. And before it became the popular local soda shop that it is today, it was home to a pharmacy and a medical office. One of the mm. doctors who frequently worked out of the building was Dr. Robert Blackburn, who was famously known for bringing died his cute little dog Watson along with him everywhere, Apex? even to patients' houses. It is said that Dr. Blackburn's loyal little dog Watson still haunts the building to this day. Over the years, workers and customers at the cafe claim to have had strange, unexplained experiences with the ghost of Watson the dog. Like saying that they could actually feel the spirit of the little dog jump right up on their legs. Since the mm. restaurant added security cameras, they have started to capture some of these strange encounters on video. Take a look. I mean, do they work there? They're just random everyday people. Somebody got work there, yeah, but the freak? I mean how would y'all explain that? Footage what shows else would that be? And visitors getting nipped at the ankles are even scratched by something that they can't see. 
Now, with so many people experiencing yeah, that's the weird. exact with same so phenomena, many people experiencing and with that, all that yeah, caught that's on camera, weird. it makes you wonder. I would understand. I'd be a little skeptical if it was just like you know, what I'm saying, just the workers or whatever. The but they got the, the scaring regular the patrons, people that just come there too. Only trying to find Drag new friends on. to play with. In a flash. Sometimes a very silly moment turns scary in an instant. Two guys are just goofing around, but then, like a bolt out of the blue, is one that, time is who house is that? Some pranks on people, boy. Look at their faces. A sudden, very close lightning strike <laughs> rips through the clouds and scares the living. Look at it, boom! Look at that dude. Look at that dude on the right. He's... <laughs> he couldn't even get the door open. <laughs> oh my goodness! <laughs> Why he just have a straight face like that? What, bro? He is terrified for his life, bro. Didn't see it. Yo. Axel Loza frequently explores caves and tunnels in the woods of Colomos, Mexico. After finding what seems like evidence of witchcraft in one of those caves, nah, Axel good, believes bro. that some dark entity attached itself to him, and now follows him wherever he goes. One day, in the strangest place and a good the best part about that is you never got to go down these little caves bro. you sounds. never got to do that bro he takes out his phone and hits record and what happens next is like something right out of a nightmare no te quiero que vean estoy ahorita en el baño de la universidad pero lo peor ahorita es que estoy bueno acabo de terminar de hacer el baño pues estaba todo normal pero ahorita están ruidos raros Y se está tocando la puerta, pero quiero que vean que pues no hay nada. Vean, ahí está mi reflejo. Could just be like... Mi reflejo, pero vean de este lado. I don't know. Pues Could be someone in the bench, like constructing or no. I don't believe in here anything, so... Aquí pues no. Y acá el lugar es bastante pequeño y está mi reflejo. Pero a ver, hoy. Okay, I heard that. That could have been outside, though. I mean, one thing with these videos is when you only see one person, it could be. Mm, I don't know, bro. No, nada. I don't think that's any. I don't like that's Axel something going on outside. Strange sliding sound from one of the bathroom stalls, even though he knows there's no one else in the restroom. It sounds like it's coming from the stalls, though, it? but I don't know. It could be like underground. Maybe can be seen peeking through the small right crack in the bathroom stall door. Man, but when Axel looks over the top, no. there's no small crack in the bathroom stall door. Bro, but when Axel looks over the top, there's no one there. Axel is completely unaware of the disturbance. face he just captured in fact he doesn't even notice i'm good bro video hey let me know do y'all believe in like ghosts and spirits and stuff i do I, go. I believe in spirits okay. people tell axel uh hey there was a face i feel like out. i feel like most but of them aren't really evil though they just be like chilling <laughs> but i could bro could you imagine that that would be so boring just to be like it's wandering around no one else morning, or, or it could be like you know or it could be like you know coco so we're like y'all watch coco where, like, the, the whole land of the dead people like visited and they were just like kind of chilling with each other and seeing the watching their family and stuff hey dogs the dogs can sense that stuff bro dogs and little kids and like yeah that dog is terrified bro the camera captures the sound of an unexplained voice whispering, Hello, which seems to send the dog part, right bro. into a panic. Okay, right. But I mean, that could be like, I don't know. Some people have those cameras where you can like kind of speak through the camera. That could have just been like a person on either side, so. 
Oh, the owner says that absolutely no one other than the dog was home at the time of this recording. He also says that he's never experienced anything like this in his house. Mm, and he wonders he if he claimed that though. something paranormal. But what do you think this voice is? Mirror, mirror. A guy named Edgar Virgen from Colima, Mexico says that his four-year-old niece was given a very strange old toy. A pink mirror that lights up, plays music, and features a pre-recorded voice that says cute little phrases. Mm, nothing too odd there. But okay. over the next few weeks, Edgar starts to notice his niece talking to the mirror daily. And mirror, some of the toy's responses the are eerily intelligent, almost as if it can hear and respond mm -hmm. to the little girl. Edgar and the girl's mom now, decide what to that ask some nice questions just, themselves. Uh, 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 what happens here, next what was that, bro? is Stop truly me, bro. disturbing. Okay. Any voice lines got equipped in this thing. Who was that? Is that the mirror talking? The mirror says that its name is Jesse, and it gives oddly specific answers to the mother's questions. Well, Edgar and the girl's mom are a little freaked I mean. out. They, they could have just got a lot of freaking voice lines in the barn behind the house. <laughs> they could have just put a lot of voice lines in that thing. And the bro. family forgets all about the toy until they start to hear a strange little voice <laughs> coming from the barn in the middle bro, of the night. Bro, stop with them laughs Edgar in my ear, bro. The voice I'm over it. Just like the mirror toy, and was saying things like "Come play with me," followed by a sinister little giggle. <laughs> he posted his video and story to TikTok, and things got even weirder nah, because you I'm see good, some though. viewers commented that they had the exact same mirror toy but they said that their mirror didn't talk at all viewers urged edgar to make one more video with the strange toy he's reluctant but eventually he searches out the mirror in the family's barn and this happens para los que me estuvieron pidiendo que buscara el espejo y le pudiera batería aquí está solo pude encontrar estas piezas Y pues sí, le puse unas baterías que tenía aquí en la casa. Como ven, son nuevas. La neta no creo que prenda, pero bueno, a ver, vamos a calarle. Mira. Ok. Hola, bienvenido al castillo de los sueños del okay. espejo mágico. Hola. Hola, encantado de conocerte. <ríe> Gracias, amigo. Me da gusto. No, no tengo fiesta. ¿Tú tienes? No sé. Cuando me levanté, te vi a ti. Ay, vas a chingar a tu madre. Edgar says that that is just, point, bro, that's just a weird toy, though. Mirror. He says that's just a very weird trash. toy. Like, what so do you mean you saw me? Like, you just don't say toy? stuff like that. Let me know what you know you what think. they meant by I saw Lucky you just like, you know, like, but like, come on, dude. That is just weird, bro. Collectibles in a local Heck no. Nah, you hear that at night time. I'm, I'm good, bro. A little strange. He says that he started to get odd complaints from the staff at the storage facility. They said that they heard bizarre loud noises coming from inside a storage unit at all hours of the day and night. Bro, the antique collector is very lie, confused man. at what the noises could be and sets up a security camera inside the unit to see what could be going on. When he reviews the footage the next day, he is shocked. Bro, look at that dog. Check it out, please. That's another dog, bro. Man, who controlling this dude? Who is controlling that, bro?
an old antique monkey doll that he recently purchased inexplicably oh. sits up and just moves around on its own. Why would you buy that? Right back down, motionless. After witnessing this creepy incident, the antique collector says that he believes that the old doll might be cursed. Dog, why would you pay for this? What is that? Who did you? Who looks at that and say, "Yeah, I want that right there"? Heck no. Nah. That got all type of voodoo, or witchcraft, all oh, that kind of to that, bro. To it. Hex, no. So is this footage real? That is a or ugly. Is it all just an elaborate hoax? As always, you decide. Y'all decide. Let Thanks me know in the comments, sure man. Thank y'all so, so much for watching. Let me know what else y'all trying to get me to react to. More horror stuff. More horror stuff. More Twitter horror and stuff. And Watch this at night time. I'm trying to tell y'all. We we'll have a nice and little series where I would just react to this horror stuff. Y'all send me some stuff. Like That'll be all. Thank y'all so much for watching. Subscribe today. To join the Shinobi family with that being said. Peace.